Oops, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Let me do this, and then we want to share that. And then we want to make a PowerPoint presentation. Ooh. There you go. Fancy. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm so fancy. You <laughs> baby know. All right. <laughs> I'm in the fast thing from LA to Tokyo. Okay. Now, we're not talking about LA or Tokyo. We're talking no. about the UK. <laughs> we're going to talk about the UK. That's All right. right. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> So, good evening, everybody. Uh, it's uh, Tuesday Hello. Night Social Club, and we continue our very popular language and culture series. I think this is part five, brought to you tonight by Carmen Houston Ludlam and the United Kingdom. So, Carmen, take it away. Hello, everybody. My name is Carmen Houston Ludlam, and I'm, I'm going to talk about the, the United Kingdom. And and here's the picture of, of the UK. It has uh, four countries, um, which include the, the the England, and includes Cornwall, like down here of the Cornwall, and then here's Scotland and in the yellow, and here's Wales in the pink, and here is Northern Ireland in the orange. And I am interested because I am about one half English and part German and part Crete Indian. And here is the picture of London, uh, biggest city in England, is where the government for the UK lives. And I'm going to and I'm go going to talk about the three areas I am interested in seeing. And here is um, the big parliament. It is the, the, the government of the UK. Um, their, their prime minister is, is like our president. Their parliament is like our Congress. They have two houses um, and the House of Commons it, it, of, of theirs and, and, and are like the House of Representatives. Their, their House of Lords is like our Senate. And also there is the people inside inside of the um the, the parliament and here of the three of the um wigs which is like our um the lawyers and inside inside of it there is like a desk of the lawyers wearing uh wigs and the next we're going to talk about the big ben it's attached to the parliament building the building is called the Elizabeth. It's called the Elizabeth Tower. It uh, named for the first Queen Elizabeth. It was built in 1859, and and the Big Ben is the is that uh, bell that strikes the hour, and is and also the bell goes gong. And 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 here's the next is the the Buckingham Palace, which is the royal family residence in in London. There are like four four official royal residents, and and also the in, the inside of the Buckingham Palace, there is a nice, lo lovely, um, all decoration. Um, lovely de de decoration. And here is the Tower of London, where the olden day king sent the enemies at the, the, the Traitor's Gate. And we see right here, there's the, the, the Traitor's Gate. And also where the crown jewels are stored for safety. And here, and also, um, and and one of um, guards uh, is also guarded by the, by the beef eaters. 
Next is the Tower uh, Bridge. It's not a London Bridge from the, from the song. It's original London Bridge. It's now in Arizona. And here is a picture of the London Eye. It is the tallest Ferris wheel in the world until 2006. One of the most popular tourist attractions in London. It's also it's, it's also a, on top of my list of um, of of mine because I love Ferris wheels. And here is like in England, the places I really want to see. Areas. areas. And here are the areas of England. And now, what what now is is the southwest England used to be the country of Cornwall. The peaks of this district is the West Midlands, south of Manchester. It has beautiful hills. Number three is the, the Lake Dis District is in nor Northwest England. And there is uh, Nottingham. Nottingham, Nottingham and Sherwood Forest is in the East Midlands. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll see Robin Hood in, in uh, Sherwood Forest. And here's the the Cotswold Way. It it had they they have a beautiful walking trail. And also, my parents lived in in the Cotswold for one for one and a half years before I was born. If you see right here below the stove and um Borton on the water, right here. You said that's where my parents lived. That's where that's where my parents lived. And here's a picture of Scotland. My father has Scottish Scottish ancestors who moved to Canada. And it, it is from um, Kirkubrit. Kirkubrit, on the southern coast. And. And here is the pictures of the Edinburgh. Um, it, ha it has a big castle where the, they hold lots of military parades called tattoos. And also they have like uh, bagpipes and also drums. And here on the picture right, he right here, um, they have like fi fireworks. Um, and then and and the and the girl in the picture is, um, she, she has a drumstick and she put it over, on top and she twirls around. Twirls around, and then after that she hits the drum, which is really cool, right? And the next is the high the Highlands. It it was upper half of Scotland. It has a lot of mountains, and and the second is where kilts came from. P people wore different plaids to ad identify which family they were a part of. And he, and here is a beautiful uh, Loch Ness, um, the beautiful lake in northern. Scotland. And the second is there are tales of a huge monster living in the lake. And that is the long, the longness monster. And and now here is the Hadrian's Wall. It was built by the Rome, Romans in 100, 122 AD. It was 2000 years ago. And it, it was northern border of the Roman Empire, and it was built to keep those crazy Britons out of 
civilized Rome. You, you see the Britons and the Rome fighting um, of the war. And here is the picture of Wales. It was between England and Ireland. And, and, it, and, and ha it has their own national language, Welsh. Can, can anyone pronounce this sign um, for me? Oh, did you want to volunteer? <laughs> yes, please. Let's see if you want to go with? I'm looking for a hand raise first, just in case. Um, uh, David. Go ahead, David. I see you there. Hold I'm on. going to try my best. Okay. It says, Hemis Hemisphere. Nope. No. Well, so. <laughs> Is the mist with? I see <laughs> Elena. Elena's trying it out now, I guess. <laughs> oh. Okay. Gin go 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 you clear. Oh, she did the other one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There's two. That's well, right. Tongue twister too. Look at that one. Welcome, welcome to Welsh. Yeah. Welcome to Welsh. No vowels. <laughs> they don't like vowels. No. <laughs> and and here the and here, and here is an example of what um. I mean, I just said. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> oh, and, and here is the sign of "Welcome to to Wales, um, Wales." Yeah. And here's the uh, uh, the language of "Welcome to Wales." Willie just raised his hand. Yeah, I was about to say I'm gonna get one more. One more, yeah. Go yeah, ahead. I just want to read the language from Wales. Okay. So the language is Cro Esso I Jimaru. <laughs> 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 I'm just sad. <laughs> Carmen, you wanna say it? <laughs> oh, we don't speak Welsh. It's a tongue twister. Ah. That was that was the point. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I never speak Welsh before, especially yeah. I wasn't born in the United Kingdom. Okay, moving Good on. Try. Good job, though. Okay, um, here is a uh, the, the the picture of the Cornwall. Is oh, oh, unfortunately its own country now a a county in England. And they are asking to be more independent, like Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. And also, um, they ha have their own language, Cornish, but is not widely used. And all, and they also have lots of coastline with rocky cliffs. And and you see right here, it is. Is 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 seems like it's like a serpent. Serpent. The serpent. And and he and here is his head. And here is the the town of Truro, and here is the the, the capital of the Cornwall. And that, that is the church. And the next picture is in um, Northern Ireland. It's its own country. It was formed because of the war between the Catholics, Catholics and Protestants. It was from the early 1960s until 1998. They were a lot of bombings. And an as an an athlete Bailey Winnie. Marini mm -hmm. is going to do a presentation about the Northern Ireland. That's right. And here is the um the, the beautiful building of the Northern Ireland of the castle, and there is a, a beautiful lake right behind. Oh, that's the ocean. On the ocean, and a beautiful ocean on it. And then there's a, a tree, a tree tunnel, and 
and at, at at night it looks spooky, but it's very beautiful. And here is the royal family. On the on the left, um, that you see is the Queen Elizabeth. And these are the the royal family. Here is the um, Prince Charles. When Queen Elizabeth dies, then Prince Charles will be the king. And and here is um, his wife Camilla. And here is the Queen Elizabeth. And then there is Meghan Markle right here. And and next to her is her um is her husband Prince Harry. And here is um, Prince William. He, um, when Prince Charles um what is um die, dies. dies, then Prince William will be will be the king after Prince Charles. And here it. And here is Prince William's wife, Kate. And here is the peerage of of the of the titles. So of the number one is the king or the queen. Number two is the king or the queen, and there are hu husband or wife. And number three um, is prince or prin um, princesses of the children. And number four is duke. Number five is marquis. Number six is oral. Uh, number seven is by by count. Number eight is lord. And number nine is baron. And number 10 is life peer or um, baronet. And also it was like uh, knighted. So Carmen, is, is peerage like the order of who's in charge? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. Hey, I learned something new. Um, of the, of the, all the titles, yeah. And here is some of the British British food. Um, um, it, it was the British food has a bad reputation. The British food is the bad of reputation, and I love it. And here on the left, here is the full English breakfast. With the blood pudding, <laughs> and when I'm in England, I'm I'm going to have the fish and chips. I love fish and chips. And the next one is the bangers and mash, and the bang and the bangers means it pops up the pan and makes a bang. And here is the um. Toad in the hole. <laughs> and the last one is the Yorkshire pudding. And my mom makes those for Thanksgiving and, and we love it. And here is the British English uh, words, what they say in, um, in British and what we say in American. So for clothes, they say tra trousers, and we say pants. And they say jumper, we say sweater. And uh, many American words for out outerwear, and the and their words of for underwear, um, pants. It's like it's like panties. And and trainers. They, uh, they say trainers, we say sneakers. And for food, they say biscuit, we say cookie. And they say chips, we say french fries. They say crisps, 
They say we say p p potato chips. Uh, they say porridge. We say oatmeal. I love oatmeal. And here are the sports. Um, when we say when they say football, we we say um. We call it soccer. When they talk about our football. When they, when they are talking about our football, they, they say American football. When, when they say petrol, uh, we say gasoline. When they say lorry, we say truck. When they say flat, we say apartment. When they say nappy, we say diaper. <laughs> <laughs> and they the say at the restaurant, they say bill, and we say check. And uh, when they pay the bill with the check, and we pay our check with the bill. And w and when and they say torch, we say f flashlight. When when they say holiday, we say vacation. They say rubbish, we say garbage. And here are some British celebrities. On on the left, um, here is a picture of ancient deck. They are my two inspirations. Um, they hosted the show of Britain, Britain's Got Talent. And Harry, can I say the one on the left in the second photo? Yeah. Yeah. So that is actually Holly Willoughby. 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 Yep. Carmen constantly posts photos about her. Oh, don't, don't. That's her uh, fashion influence. Right. Don't, 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 take, don't steal her thunder. <laughs> I'm not there yet. I love her fashion sense. <laughs> and and also into deck um they the um they host the Brits Got Talent and also um they uh, they also did other things like I I'm a celebrity sign I take away. They were also um kids um and actors and they did fashion club and they did songs they, they were pop stars and an artist. And mm -hmm. here is the picture of um, Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield. They are the um, the um, they they are the hosts of the this morning show in 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 the UK, and they um, and they do a lot. They do a lot like um, funny things like into deck do and. And it's really cool, and I love that. And mm -hmm. here's a picture of Stephen Mahern. He's my favorite idol. It's um, of into deck, maybe my inspiration, but of uh, my um, Stephen Mahern. He's my favorite idol. Has a different name of it. Um, Stephen Mahern um, presents the Britain's Got More Talent, and he also have a new game show of Morning in It, and he also did other things as well. And here of the fashion, what Kayla said, that um, I I took um, like side by side of, of pictures of myself of my fashion, and I put um, a side by side with Holly Willoughby, and I put it on Instagram, and like like and she's my fa my fav my favorite fashion icon and idol and mentor. Of 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 the fashion, and I and I really love her fashion a lot. And that's it. Thank you, girl. I gotta get your fashion taste. <laughs> Got any questions? From any, from we actually had one from Jason. Ah. Okay. No yeah. comment. So he said, what do I say when I want to take a nap now? 
Now that nappy is diaper, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take a nap anymore. Uh, okay. you, you, you say, I'm shattered. I'm shattered. I'm shattered. That means I'm Wait. tired. Yeah. Go ahead, Joe. Well, do, you, Carmen, do you know the, the house will say air, airport, right? They say airport. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's correct, right, Carmen. Helena. Mm -hmm. I see two part participants raised. Helena. Yes, I was going to say, I actually lived next to a British police officer when I lived in England. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When, did you, when did you come to the U.S.? I forgot to ask you, um, Elena. Why did I come to the no, U.S.? No, when? When? When I was a year and a half. Uh, if we did not, I probably wouldn't be here today. You'd probably be doing Special Olympics UK. No. No. I'd be Six feet under. Uh, All three. Yeah. But, That's but, we live, but I know that um, in England, they call their police officers bobbies or peelers. Yeah. I think the official term is constable. But yes, <laughs> they, their nickname is bobbies. Mm -hmm. Because I know in the Victorian times, Sir Robert Peel founded the world's very first um, organized police force and ironically a lot of them were former criminals or as they called them dodgers <laughs> and guess what i'm actually i have a job now i'm mod pizza and i've been saving a lot of, uh, of my money to go to london england and i save up for the the um the airplane ticket and the hotel and now I'm saving up the things inside of London, which I said of my British celebrities. And so you got to buy all that pizza and fish and chips. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> I, and also <laughs> beers. Carmen, bring some mods to the office, please. Because <laughs> we have no food in that stupid office. Oh, man. Yeah, mod but the best right place now. to get fish and chips in England is from a pub. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know Monique had a question, so. Yep. Go ahead, Monique. Dang okay, it. Carmen. So, hi. So, I noticed in your presentation you were talking about the Loch Ness Monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, is that a myth or is that a legend? Because I've heard from several people that the Loch Ness Monster does not exist. And then I hear from other people that they've seen it before. So is it true or is it a legend? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, it's, it's, the tourist office wants to make sure you think it's there. <laughs> that is a really good question. That is a matter of opinion. Yeah, Much. yeah. I know Melissa's <laughs> got a got a question as well. Melissa, Melissa Silverman. So. Okay, I yeah. My parents and I, we 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 went to London, and um, he said, um, not order three fish and chips because 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 we ordered three of them, and the fish was so big, <laughs> and we had to cancel one of the orders. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the, the fish can be really big. Good tip. Yeah. Good tip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and mm -hmm. you know the in London, um, um, they um, they are the the real fish, mm -hmm. like they deep fry a real fish. That's right, cod. Cod, mm -hmm. a real cod. What's the other thing we're gonna get when we're in London? Um, eel. Oh, eel. We're gonna we, we, we're gonna have some eel, live eel. Well, it'll be dead by well, the time we eat it. <laughs> it, it, it it's a live. Um, dead eel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how that's going to work, Carmen, but I can't yeah. wait to see the video. So. I know Stephanie's got a question. And then, oh, you have to try Builder's Brew Tea. Yes, Elena, we're definitely going to do that. I love Builder's Tea. <laughs> I'm going to try that too, Elena. Carmen, I have a question for you. 
Yeah. Are you allowed to tour where the queen and the royal family lives, or do you need tickets in advance? Um, that's a good question. Um, I, I, I don't think it's open to the public. Well, not yet. It's, uh, it's not open because of the COVID. No, it's not open. It's not open. I don't think it's open at all. No, it's actually uh, private property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know the Tower of London's open though. It, yes. It, it, I. Or not now, it, but. You know. I I know for a fact of the queen. I would love to meet the queen. You know. <laughs> you and a whole bunch of other people. Yeah. <laughs> I would. Sure, I. But um, I would talk about um, I. The, the, I said of, of my British celebrity that into deck. I really like, really love. Yes. I really want to meet them. If you yeah. can get me their autographs, that would be awesome. Yes. Well, and by the way, speaking of into deck, I um they actually have a new book. Um, mm -hmm. it's into deck once upon a time, and they celebrated thirty years together, and they actually wrote a book. Um, oh wow. Um and. Um, so mom said that I, I, um, I know that I can, we cannot pre-order it because it's probably too late now, but, yeah. um, because it comes out September 3rd, but in England, in, yeah, in England, but w when we go to London, England, we, um, I'm going to get the, um, two book. well, yeah, two books and, um, the new, um, interdeck book, I'm going to, Okay, keep one for myself to read and other one to sign and I'm gonna get the other the other um Indian deck um what mm -hmm. a, what a lovely pair I have one already out um because mom um, ordered that for me and I also I remember that when I'm in England I'm gonna get a fresh a fresh one of uh, Indian deck what a, what a lovely pair and I, I want them to get a, a signed by them and, yeah, in, yeah. in person yeah, because the other one's kind of well loved, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm gonna keep that so I can um, read that on an airplane, right? Mm -hmm. I know Mike. I know Michael had a question as well as Elena and Mo and Joe. Joe. So I'm gonna let um, Michael and go Jason first. Jason had a question apparently. Yeah, I know. A lot of people love. Food. Yeah, we got a lot of questions. <laughs> How do you say my name in British? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Oh, your name is British? Britain. <laughs> um, they don't use uh, vowel or, yeah, vowel. Welsh. Welsh. Oh, and Welsh. Welsh. That they don't Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the Y is their vowel. <laughs> Hi, you. <laughs> So who is um, after? Uh, I know. I know. Uh, Willie's got a question. I'm going to go to him, and then I'm going to go to Joe and Elena. Those who hasn't had had, had questions, basically. So, um, Carmen, problem was I have never traveled to London before, because when I want to go to Great Britain, yeah. I just want to see the tasty new food, especially um, fish and chips. Hmm. Were there any other food in um, England that you just went to um, have? Um, I'm sure we're going to have eel, the live yeah. dead eel. And um, we're going to... Um, gonna Mommy have... loves shepherd's pie. Mom loves shepherd's pie. I love shepherd's pie. pie. And also we, we're going to try the um, full English breakfast mm -hmm. and the uh, blood pudding. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Girl, and, you're making uh, me hungry. <laughs> uh, and I would um, rather have fish and chips. Yeah, my uh, favorite snack. Um, uh, Mr. Jason said, uh, "How about uh, beef? Beef Wellington. Beef mm -hmm. Wellington. Jason. Yeah. Yep. And <laughs> another question is this: Why was football the most important sport in football. England? Football. It's football. Football looked like. Yeah. Yeah. It's the most important in all of Europe. Football Everybody. is their soccer. Yeah. Rugby is their football. Uh, football. football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I just saw on my um on my so um, Wikipedia. Rugby. So just um, so I know Elena and Joe have questions. Rugby is football. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna go. Wait, David, did you have a question? Oh, sorry, Elena. And, uh, oh wait, really no. Sure. I was gonna go to, to David since he didn't get it get to ask one yet, oh, and I'm gonna get to the, gonna get to Elena and Joe right after that. Car Carmen, if you have a chance to be in a British Cat Talent, would you like to do your puppet show? Um, oh, of, of your question, yes. Uh, I, know I, I would love to. I would love to meet the judges, Sam, Ka Sam Cow and Amanda Honden, Alicia Dixon, and David Williams. Actually, David Williams, speaking of David, he's actually one of my favorite judges on British Got Talent. He's and, really funny. Yeah, he's really funny, and I really love that. And I and also I would love to meet into deck. You know, it'd be awesome if I if I did my because I know I've been doing my ventriloquism for one and a half years. Yep. Speaking and, of ventriloquism, we have a question request from the chat to bring out Jason. Can I oh. come bring the, Jason the fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's running. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a spotlight her for this part. I just have to. <laughs> you know why I had to. Here she comes. <laughs> oh, God. She's oh, is, is back. There is a head. Jason the fish. Hey, Jason, Jason the fish. Hey, uh, Jason, uh, we were just talking about fish and chips. What? <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat me. Oh, no, I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> You're my friend. You got a lay on the knee. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got a lay on the knee. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we got gonna... Anybody have a question for Jason the Fish? All right. Stop, stop. <laughs> I know, I'm going to go back to Elaine and then Joe, because I know I'm with Jason. <laughs> Thank you, Carmen, for sharing your talent. You're welcome. And thank you. So I have two quick questions for you, Carmen. And also, you know, um, um, the prince, the queen's husband, he's not a king. He's just the prince consort. Yeah. But do you have any favorite members of the royal family? And do you have like any popular British shows that you watch? I know my favorite is definitely The Crown, but if you want to know who mine are. Yeah, The Crown is a classic. Mm -hmm. um, I have, well, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I've been watching a lot of Into Deck and also see what Mahern I just said in the, the, the presentation. Um, well, you watch the morning show yeah, almost and, every morning. And also this morning show. Well, normally I have different days when I watch of my shows on mm -hmm. YouTube. So on Sundays, I watch Dave, uh, Simon and David. Monday is Amanda Holden. Tuesday is Alicia Dixon. And Wednesday is Andy Deck. Thursday is Philip and Holly. And uh, Friday, um, which is Ellen DeGeneres. And then Saturday, I watch <laughs> a, a Steve Mahern. <laughs> Also, so Carmen, my brother, he actually went to England a couple years ago, and you might have saw this in the comments, mm -hmm. but, and they laugh at people from, they clearly laugh at tourists all the time, because you think that bangers and mash, you think it's um, sausage and mashed potatoes. It's actually, because Joey ordered it, and the waiter just kind of laughed at him, like, yeah, you're an American. So he brought it out, and lo and behold, it's actually, it's a sausage, it's called blood, the sausage they use is blood sausage, and the mash is mashed peas. <laughs> hmm. And you can tour Buckingham Palace, you just have to have um, a ticket, but um, obviously not where the Queen lives, obviously not all of Buckingham Palace is available for the public to uh, visit. Only certain parts of it are. Um, I know that Joe had a question 
another question. I know Jason as well as Michael's got a couple and Nicole. I got a lot of questions of England. Yeah, you got, what can I say, Carmen? We, you're yeah, awesome. You are, you are famous. <laughs> yeah. Shine that bright light on you. <laughs> like a diamond. Shine like the star you are. Hey, Kaya, stop talking. Kaya, My <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, listen. You yeah. go to England, guess what? You see a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, also, that was... also, you can eat fish and chip, put a little vinegar and tart. It tastes very good. Excellent. Yeah. Fish and chip, put a little vinegar. Ooh, made me hungry. <laughs> I actually had some uh, fish and chips um, in Maryland. I remember uh, there's a mm -hmm. restaurant. Um, I know what it is. I forgot. Oh, you mean the one in Delaware? No. Mm. It's here in Edgewater. Mm. Let's check it out. Mm. No, I, I, I remember. Okay. It's an Irish restaurant. Oh, the Irish pub, yeah. Irish pub, we went. Irish pub. Irish mm. pub, yeah. Pub. Making me hungry. Pub. Gotta hit the pub. Pub. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. All right. Um, I know me, Nicole's please. got a question, so I'm going to go to her and then Michael after that. Hey. Ladies first. Yep. Mm -hmm. What's your question, Nicole? Um, actually, it's not even a question, actually. I did a drama play from the UK. Mm -hmm. And it was actually, um, Brit Burr did a drama play also with the UK and be in the, also in, in the drama group. Cool. Cool. What play uh, did you do? It was actually, it was Cosmic Crime. Okay. It's a good one. I've heard of that a little bit. Ah. All right. Michael's got some questions. And then I, I also got a question in the chat, but I'm going to let, let's get a Michael first. I like to learn British. What? What? You like to learn, learn more English stuff? I like to, I like to learn British language. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I, I too like fish and chips too at the um, oh. South Carolina Caswell Beach. Mm. That's cool. Uh, on the beach. Mm -hmm. Yep, Caswell Beach. Caswell Beach. Cool. We also I like got to a... meet. Oh. I like to meet the Queen too. Mm -hmm. You got to meet the Queen. I wish. On oh, your wish. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I'm actually curious if they do something for like Special Olympics UK or something like that. I was just thinking that, Sam. Yeah, but um, Elena's got a question in the chat. Have you ever watched the world? Did you watch both the world weddings? Both um, world weddings? No, that was before you were really interested in England. Yeah. You didn't watch Harry's or, or Will's, Elena's? I don't think so. Um, That's okay. Not when I was very young. But I know for a fact that I did watch like on YouTube videos of, of them. Yeah, oh, I was about to say I'm sure they're on YouTube. I you know, I'm a YouTube um Eng mm -hmm. YouTube. You're a YouTuber. Mm hmm She's addicted to YouTube. Yeah. I'm not Jason. addicted. I'm I'm a huge Anglophile. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got any other questions besides Jason's? Willie Carmen? You want to bring me some fish and chips? <laughs> Can I? Yes. Well, by the, by the time we got back to Maryland, it'd be pretty nasty. <laughs> I'm starving. Yeah. No, I ate already. I'm well, it would be starving. funny if, if, if we mail it to a camera. Oh, I think that would not be good. You know what we should do? We should go to the Killarney House in Davidsonville. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Far away. Oh, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah. That's good. I'm when I had I already ate dinner, but I'm still starving somehow. <laughs> and they also have shepherd pie. That's what I get. And they and they also have fish and chips. What I I I normally get. Um, and and depends what dad might get. Mm -hmm. you, and you love food, mm -hmm. don't you, Kayla? Mm-hmm. Oh. Good food. 
Um, Jason, Just give me I know how to question. Yeah. Oh, wait. New's got a question. I'm going to actually have him mute himself for this uh -huh. part, though. Really? Yeah, well, he's I got a question from the chat, but I, it's all right. Do you want it? Actually. Blue. Here we go. Blue. I did have a question, but I just, but my mind's not working right, so I, don't, so I forgot what the question was. It's okay. I can ask it for you. Have you, have you done any cool, other cool British stuff? Like, no. Oh, this could go all night. She Pardon? could talk about British stuff all night long. <laughs> Good. Have okay, you done yeah. any other cool British stuff yet? Um, I, oh, um, not yet. I mean, not, it's on the list. Not yet, but it's on the list. <laughs> um, I right now I'm um going to, to get a um I have a British a, a ukulele, but I I'm also ukulele. I I'm um, but I'm gonna get a British strap for my a ukulele. Mm -hmm. oh, do you have your Union Jack flag on you by any chance? I know you have your, a blanket that's the Union Jack has the Union Jack on it. Yeah, that, that that's in my apartment. I wish I could bring the computer, but I had to leave it here. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I can time. but I can bring my a a ukulele if you're interested of seeing that. Sure. Are you guys <laughs> yep. okay with that? Yep. Mm -hmm. I've seen it before. I have probably too, but that's just me. That's that's a new thing she's learning. Something else. Oh, I could just see her and David being in a band together, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. Who are the two people, me and Carmen, fangirl at practice? No comments. <laughs> that Hold was North West Ginger. In a second when, uh, Is me and Carmen fangirl at practice over two people? <laughs> spice girls, go. spice girls, spice girls. Oh my goodness. Nope. Oh, getting the wait, whole, I'm going to spotlight her. <laughs> okay, the yeah. first one is my British uh -huh. ukulele. <laughs> Next is a London book. Oh, even better. <laughs> There's probably some way for me to flip the screen around, but oh well. It's I'm okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, not going to work. <laughs> Me. Carmen, do you have a tiara on a uh, uh, a crown on you? By the way, oh <laughs> no, I don't have a real one. Not yet. This is a British bulldog, and it, it, this is a British bulldog. Are you talking about WWE British bulldog? No, Carmen. <laughs> Carmen, it is so, not noticed. It is so comfy. But did you not notice what was on the end of the car? What? Did you not she she already headed away. Anyways, Nicole's got another question. All right, Nicole. Okay. Um, I would know Carmen. <laughs> what kind of the English black tea do they have in your country? What's the question? I, I drink Earl Grey. My question was, what kind of the English breakfast tea? Oh, what English breakfast tea. British recipe. Yeah. Oh, wh why do I need for British uh, recipe? recipe? Um, well, you made the the um, potatoes and peas. Mm. With, um, um, sort of fried fish. That was really good. That's yeah. very British. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, a lot of Indian food. There's a lot of Indian food. Um, in restaurants and stuff in England because India used to be part of the British Empire and so all of that mm -hmm. delicious Indian food came over because English food used to be really really bland that's so right that something to wake up their t their mouths right <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, almost like a smoothie mm. no 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 like like a curry ah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or or a mm. or a smoothie for curry yeah <laughs> Yeah. Ew. <laughs> no comments. 
<laughs> I know and, and, uh, <laughs> Willie's got another question, so I'm going to go to him. And I think, Jason, I, do you still have your question in your head? I still do. Oh. Ooh. Go ahead, Willie. OK, so comment. What, Brit, what kind of soap opera did you watch when uh, in London? What soap opera did they have in London? Soap opera shows. Soap opera show. Um, what is it? EastEnders. It was East EastEnders. Mm, I heard that one. Hey, you know what? My sister used to watch EastEnders before. She used to watch it on PBS. Mm -hmm. I um, have. I have. W E T A. That's yes. cool. I I also have. So on my birthday. So on I in IHOP. I remembered I talked to my um you my mom and my dad. There is like an app. Um it's a Brit a Brit box and and a there's the other one um that connected to um United Kingdom in ITV. I ITV. And I got actually got that for my birthday. Really? So it it takes a while to download it, but um it takes like a, a day or two so because dad was on it so he, so he put it on it for for my birthday mm -hmm. mommy's the one who watched that. any other any other questions before we go to jay jason i'm gonna jason. answer mine well, tell her again what which Mental. two british guys do we fangirl over at practice must be Harry Styles, right? Harry Styles and Ed Sheeran, oh, yes. probably. Harry Styles. Yeah. My friend Kristen loves Harry Styles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe single too. I we also know. fangirl over Aunt and Dick. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm a huge, huge I'm a huge in, inspiration of them. The reason why of that because I have a sister named Allie, and mm -hmm. she lives in St. Louis, and we've oh. been um, sisters for 22 years because I'm 22 right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I love having a, a long relationship almost like Auntie Deck had. Um, Auntie Deck were, um, they started as friends when they were on Backer, Backer Grove. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they, 30 years ago. Uh, from 30 years ago. And, um, and then um, they became pals on, on the show. And then they um, did, they also did, uh, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube, so I know all about this. <laughs> and, um, and they also, um, um, they, they know like very, very well, they know how, um, what they do, they do, um, they have their own families. Um, um, Deck has his own family, so is Aunt apartment. Um, and they, um, they, um, they, apparently they did a, a, D, a DNA um, um, d documentary, and I watched it on YouTube on, on my phone when I work on my break, and I watched a, a lot of that. I learned a lot of um, where their ancestors um, were, and um, it was really cool. And um, also, they also went. To, um, it, it was filmed the, the whole thing. It's like it takes an hour of every every place, but they also did like they they went to America in New York where Mom was born, and um and then they did like a lot of things of Deck in Ireland of their of his of his family and it also of his family in England, and um. I can talk about this all night. Yes, let's not. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I love it. We do it all day long at cheer practice. Uh -huh. Elena said she had a question. Yes, Elena yes. Says Elena. Question. We got Nicole, we got Joe, we got Jason. Yeah, Carmen, did you know that the royal family's, their surname, Windsor, it wasn't actually their original surname. It was originally... If I can say right, um, Colbert, Sachs, and Gota, but they had to, her, the Queen's grandfather had to change it to Windsor because, you know, to avoid, you know, anti, because it, to uh, try not to see that their 
to German. Right. During World War Two, yeah. World War One. Nineteen seventeen was when they changed oh. their name. Okay, I thought it was during World War Two, but you may be right because Germany and England didn't get along very well in World War One either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the the Queen's dad, he actually said that he was glad that they in World War Two. He goes, well, now I can look east, and when um, London during the London bombing, I. He said he reportedly said, um, "Well, now at least I can look the the east end in the base." Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. I know Nicole's got another question as well as Joe, and then we're gonna go finally finding it off with Mr. Dyson, who looks like he's falling asleep a little bit over there. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait my turn. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, Who's that's next? Uh, Nicole. Nicole. Yeah. Sorry, Nicole. Go ahead. I have a question. What does the name Mercury mean in Ireland? Mercury? Do you know? Do you know? Do I? What's that? What does the name McCurry mean? McCurry. McCurry? McCurry. All right. I can Google that. I don't know. Hmm. I don't I mean, know. I can mm -hmm. look that up on Google. I'm doing that right now. I don't really have a definition for that off the top of my head. Yeah, I don't think there's a definition for that, Nicole. Okay. <laughs> All right, Joe, I know you've been waiting, and you're, I'm sure your hand is getting tired. <laughs> As you comment, I saw this, uh, United, United Kingdom has Special Olympic over there. They do? Yes. I'm not surprised. Yes, they have. Mm -hmm. I want. I was. I was just saying this earlier, but I wonder if the queen, or at least the royal family, does something with them. This will. This will special only be over there. You're not keen then. I mean, I was wondering, like, yes. for their for their version of the state games, they probably have. Yeah, they they them. help. Yeah, they yes. They That's go cool. over to see the special Olympic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, Joe. Speaking of what you said of the special Olymp uh, Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, It'd be really cool if I got interviewed of my favorite celebrities, uh, Philip Scofield and Holly Willoughby, on this morning show, and I can t talk about a lot of things with them. Yeah, it's a good idea, Carmen. And they'd probably be watching it now because I've been doing doing this one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Who next? Jason is. Last Already? but not least. So Carmen, I yeah. heard you say in your presentation that the original London Bridge is in Arizona. How did it get to Arizona? I do. They, they, um, they took it apart mm -hmm. and they ship it to, they, um, they took, they took it apart and, and they, um, Ship it to 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 Arizona, and they built it back up again. Wow, I had oh, never wow. heard that before. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Is that the last question? I can't. Don't see any other hands. I think that might be it. Since we're just about out of time, anyways. Yep, I think that is it. So, mm -hmm. thank you, Miss Carmen, oh. for. Uh, sharing your love for the United Kingdom and thank you for saving uh, Ireland and Northern Ireland for Bailey. I know he appreciates that. So. <laughs> and yeah, Bailey so and Marissa we'll, as well. Doing something and thank him. you for everybody else who joined tonight. Uh, if you like this language and culture series uh, and you're interested in Oh, uh, well, we got one last question. Hold on, no. hold on. Bye. If you're interested in something about your culture that you'd like to present or 
uh, something in your family history on a place you'd like to go and you'd like to present, that would be uh, good as well. So um, we'll finish with one more person and then we'll sign off. So Michael wants to know what- Hold on, I got him unmuted for it. What cartoons are there in the UK, basically? Cartoons in the UK? British cartoons. I'm actually gonna look that up. British cartoons. Hmm. Hmm. Um, oh, hmm. Because I'm a cartoon fan. You know what? They actually watch a lot of Sesame Street. Yeah. So when Americans go to England, a lot of times they say, you sound like Ernie. Hmm. <laughs> Elena said, <laughs> pig is one. My yeah. my favorite it has to be the um the mama pig. Oh Pippa the pig? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pippa the pig. I think that's <laughs> it, right? <laughs> thank you. Yep. All right, thank you, Carmen. Thank you everybody. We'll talk to you on Thursday if you can join us for Our Horror film night with uh, new a, new, a new in uh, Kira Northrop from our office. So have a good week up until then.